Welcome back to Talk of the Town, and with me now I have Jeff Bull, and he's the managing partner over at Modern Woodman of America Fraternal Financial. Thanks for being with us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. And we're going to talk about some different financial things and financial advice, really. And the first big one I have is, is life insurance really necessary? Yeah, so uh, a big portion of what I do, obviously, and a part of that whole giant financial picture. So everyone, yeah. I like to call it the financial pie that everyone has. You just try to apportion things properly with sure. risk management, savings, uh, retirement planning, and then eventually when someone is retired, how to turn that accumulated asset into an income stream, mm -hmm. into consistent income in retirement so they can enjoy the kind of lifestyle they're accustomed to, things like that. So life insurance is kind of the base that though it's never been more affordable, mm -hmm. um, less people have it than ever before. Yeah. So it's this weird paradox that it's getting cheaper, yet less and less people have it. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we always call it the foundation of financial planning often, especially for young families, people that have accumulated a lot of debt. It's just a very important piece of that pie we often think is neglected. So who needs life insurance? You know, uh, we say most people generally do. A lot mm -hmm. of people carry a lot of high debt. Um, I was responsible right out of college for a large amount of college debt, of course, as yeah. many of us can make that statement. Guilty. Um, yeah, of course, <laughs> right? Not uncommon at yeah. all. Um, oftentimes, young families are going to be extremely important because when a primary wage earner, something were to happen, if a tragedy were to occur, mm -hmm. oftentimes the statistics are very ugly in that situation that oftentimes those families where the primary wage earner would go, be it the wife, husband, however that may run in that household, um, oftentimes they would struggle to pay the bills within mm. a few weeks. Um, so it's it's just become, it's crucial in a lot of situations, and it can be used for a lot of different things, be it sometimes it's a state equalization. Large estates trying to figure out, perhaps it's inheriting a family business, a family farm, how do you apportion it so your children are all equally compensated? It provides guarantees for things like that. So. Right. Which I'm sure if you are going through a tragedy like that or a difficult time in your life, the last thing you want to be worrying about is that kind of step. And so it's good to have it all planned out, I'm sure. Yes, absolutely. It's kind of, it's obviously not the part of the job that we look forward to delivering yeah. a large sum of money, um, but we realize that it's often a very, very important part of our job. Absolutely. Now, I know you mentioned retirement planning as well. And so I want to talk about what is the right time to start planning for your retirement? Cause yeah. I think it's it's one of those things like out of sight, out of mind, and people don't start to think about it and so they're like, well, I might need this soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we have a lot of cautionary tales that uh, you have someone that maybe hasn't had a plan and they know they want to retire, but they're kind of maybe in their low 60s at that point mm -hmm. and they think retirement age is just something that you're entitled to, um, but there's never an early enough time to start. Uh, I always say my saying is time is your best friend when it right. comes to investments because just the longer an asset sits, the longer it has time to accumulate. Um, so that's kind of where I sit on that. The earlier you can get into it, the better. I had a wonderful conversation last night with just a 24-year-old who was really worried about, am I doing everything the right way? And just he was doing a wonderful job of 8% into his company's 401k. He had 10% in, in an employee stock plan. Wow. Just doing a wonderful job at a young age, and I, I was very impressed with the young man. So That's impressive. There's a lot of good stories out there, too. Yeah, Not absolutely. always the sadder ones. So the earlier someone gets on, though, uh, just the better off they're going to be when that retirement age comes, when they've accumulated those assets and they're ready to once again figure out how to turn them into an income stream. Obviously, that's a great story that you told just there and probably one of the many ways that you guys help people. And so what are the other ways you guys help people out? You know, uh, my favorite part of the job is just sitting down with people, be it, you know, family, individual businesses, yeah. however that is, and sit down and just really try to talk over what their financial goals are and then figuring out kind of what the best thing to do with what the assets they have, best places to put things, and then once again managing that with that portion that's risk management another piece of that pie to make sure if something were to happen, mm -hmm. is the business taken care of, is their family taken care of, and things like that. So just kind of working through that with people and educating them what's all out there is really what I enjoy. 
So quick before we go here as well, I want to know what it means to be a fraternal organization. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, that is kind of a, a part that makes Modern Women very unique. Uh, less than 5% of the industry is a non, we're a not-for-profit organization, oh. so that's extremely rare. And the fraternal part is we exist solely for our members' benefits. We're not, we're member-owned, but we take that a step further. We have to prove every year that we exist for our members' benefits, so we do a lot. So why I'm dressed extremely casually, which I thoroughly yeah. enjoy, as we talked about before we started filming, um, we're actually volunteering at the River Food Bank today, oh. which we believe is the largest food bank in Madison. But um, they've been the recipient of what we call our matching fund program. Sure. We have different chapters in different communities. We try to bring a lot of local impact to members that live in our area. So wow. we have one in Sun Prairie that includes like the surrounding communities of Columbus and Rio. We have Madison East. We have downtown Madison. I run uh, Sauk Prairie uh, as well as Middleton. And we try to just impact our communities positively by the matching fund project. In example, we have twenty five hundred dollars mm -hmm. to use as a chapter to use on local projects. So the River Food Bank was one of our chapters recipients of that this year, wow. where we matched twenty five hundred dollars to donate to that to have them use for the purchase oh. of different foods for obviously kind of the underprivileged in the area. And now uh, today we're all going to have about fifteen people volunteering to serve a Thanksgiving lunch and a Thanksgiving dinner, kind of pulling a double, so to oh, speak, on that awesome. one. Oh, that's awesome. Um, but comfortable shoes is and, key. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, you guys are so involved so. in the community, and that's very clear. And it's been great to have you on the show today. Again, this is Jeff Bull with Modern Woodman of America Fraternal Financial. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. And thank you to all of our guests. You can find us next time only on Talk of the Town on Wisconsin's 57.